Hello, this is Nick Paulson from the FarmDoc team at the University of Illinois. It's February now, so that means we are in the price discovery period for the crop insurance products used by corn and soybean producers throughout the Midwest. The Risk Management Agency of the USDA will set the projected insurance prices for 2024 based on the settlement prices for the December and November futures contracts for corn and soybeans respectively through the month of February. Market volatility measures, which indicate the amount of price variability the market is anticipating between now and harvest time, are also incorporated through the volatility factors used to determine insurance premiums each year. Higher volatility will lead to higher premiums and vice versa. So where are we at so far in February? Well, through the first half of the month, the December 2024 corn futures contract has had an average settlement price of $4.71 per bushel. The November 2024 soybean contract has averaged $11.68 per bushel. Those prices will continue to change until being finalized at the end of February. However, projected prices at those levels would represent significant declines from the projected prices in 2023. Last year, the projected price for corn was $5.91. A projected price for corn of $4.71 in this year would represent a decline of about 20%. A projected price for soybeans of $11.68 per bushel would represent a decline of about 15% from the $13.76 projected price in 2023. So what does this mean for crop insurance in 2024? Well, since the value or liability that can be insured using revenue or yield policies is proportional to the value or price of the crop, this means that insurance guarantees in 2024 will be lower on a per acre basis if you purchase the same policy type as you did last year. As an example, let's take a farmer with a 200 bushel per acre trend adjusted APH yield for corn. If the farmer purchases an 85% revenue protection policy, they would be paying for a minimum revenue guarantee of about $1,000 per acre using the 2023 price, which is the product of the 85% coverage level, the 200 bushel trend adjusted APH yield, and that $5.91 price from last year. For 2024, that same policy with a projected price for corn of 471 would imply a revenue guarantee of just over $800 per acre, the product of the 85% coverage level, 200 bushel yield, and that lower $4.71 price. That is a 20% decline in the revenue guarantee for that same policy compared to last year due simply to that 20% decline in the projected price. Similarly, policies for soybeans will experience a 15% decline in guarantees for any given policy relative to last year based on that 15% drop in the projected price that we're looking at now for 2024. On the positive side, the lower prices resulting in lower insurance guarantees will also have the effect of reducing premium costs compared with last year. In the FarmDoc Daily article from February 13th, we illustrated some of the premium cost reductions for a couple of examples in Illinois. Premium estimates for revenue protection on corn in 2024 were estimated to be around 18% lower than in 2023. Premium estimates for revenue protection on soybeans in 2024 were estimated to be in the range of 10 to 12% lower than what was paid last year for the same policies. These premium savings relative to last year could provide some welcome relief given the much lower return projections that we're looking at in 2024 due to the lower commodity prices and continued high production costs. However, because of the lower insurance guarantees implied by those lower insurance prices and the tight margin environment currently expected for 2024, producers may also want to consider reallocating some of those savings, increasing their total insurance coverage. For some producers, that could mean increasing their coverage level on their individual insurance plan, such as RP. For others, it may mean taking a closer look at some of the supplemental area-based plans that are available. These include the supplemental and enhanced coverage options, referred to as SCO and ECO, which can be added to an individual plan of insurance to provide some additional county-based coverage. Members of the FarmDoc team have updated our crop insurance premium calculator tools for 2024, so you can begin taking a look at potential premium costs for a range of insurance plans. Once the February price discovery period has ended, we will revisit the finalized projected insurance prices to make sure producers have the information they need to help make their insurance program choices by the March 15th sales closing date. Thanks for watching this video. 
and please feel free to subscribe so you'll be notified when future videos are released. I'm Nick Paulson with the Farm Doc team at the University of Illinois.